Dang, how close is it gonna get? <laughs> What's the deal, YouTube? Welcome back to another video. Susie is all wrapped up and uh, unwrapped. No pun intended, if that's a pun. But the green is no longer. The wing will be getting repaired, so the wing is no longer for now. And we will be fixing the bumpers shortly. So Susie will be back in no time, and I'm gonna be hopefully doing a lot of that work myself um, to get more in tune with fixing stuff myself. But speaking of fixing things, the GTR. We gotta fix her today. In the last video, um, in the in the last video, I mentioned that the tail lights will not shut off on this car. So right now, the battery is disconnected. Battery disconnected. So what happened was I looked it up. The tail lights aren't turning off is a common problem in this car and in Skylines and 240s in particular. So we got an OEM part from Nissan and it's this little tab, this little rubber piece right here that goes on the brake pedal and it'll push a sensor or something. Some magic happens where it'll, when you press off the pedal, it touches something and that tells the car that we're no longer braking. Well, this disintegrated in the car the last time I drove it. So now when you press off of the brake pedal, it doesn't touch. So the car always thinks it's braking, which is why the brake lights never turn off. So let's show you right now. So if you guys see right here, can they see these little pieces that was once that piece. I'm trying to get a good angle for it for y'all. It goes right there, right there. You can see that that and that is not touching. That little hole, hopefully you guys can see it. That's where the green thing's supposed to go. And uh, let's put it in. Here's the piece, y'all. The piece, the result. Damn. Damn, how is people fixing these cars, bro? Okay, hopefully you guys can see it. That green piece, fully installed. I hope it stays in there because it was kind of weird. All right, so I got the battery connected very loosely right now, but it should be enough, it should be tight enough for us to start the car and see if the tail lights are off. Moment of truth, if, they, if they're on, when I start this car, we're, it didn't work. She's fixed. Yes, sir. Quick spin in the GTR. No green spectacles so far. Okay. <laughs> 
We have made it to the gas station. Moment of truth if our fix will stay fixed. Um, let's see, we're gonna turn off the light. I may or may not have stalled when I got here, purposely or not purposely. And uh, she's fixed, boys. She's good to go, glad to see it. So let's get some gas in her. Unfortunately, we don't got no E85 tune for her, but 91 will have to do with some booster. Drink up. McDonald's mobile app today. Please be ready to provide the four numeric code. This is Thank my you. first drive through experience in a right hand drive car. So, uh, I don't know. It's always fun to see if people understand or if they don't understand or if they get caught off guard. But you want, um, I want the Oreo frappe. You don't have real cup holders? No, I don't have any cup holders. Thanks for ruining my shot. This is like the opposite of the luxury. This is, it's a race car. <laughs> Thank you. I have to drive no. manual here. I can't hold my drink. Oh, well, I bet you didn't think about that when you ordered it. Thank you. Did you realize I'm on the other side? Oh, okay. Did you realize he's on the other side? Yeah. Yeah, this car's from Kenya. Oh. <laughs> yes, sir. Thank you. He said, oh yeah, <laughs> he did not give a <laughs> shit. He said, oh yeah, have a good night. <laughs> good morning, y'all. It is now the next day and we are on our way to Cars and Coffee, but I've been putting in some work. Voila, Susie's facelift is no more. And uh, we put the stock front bumper on, but as you can see, but as you can see, the stock front bumper is in very rough shape so i'm ordering new oem plastics um this bottom piece from the dealership because even when i bought the car they weren't in the best shape and as it's been sitting outside they've uh, obviously deteriorated quite quite badly and uh the front and the paint is gonna need to be clay barred and touched up bought a clay bar kit so i can do that last night to try to save the paint a little bit but uh yeah i went in there and somebody stole the clay bars out of the box that i bought and i didn't yeah it's all bad she looks so stuck <sighs> crazy it's bringing back flashbacks but it's so fresh anyways let's go Or what? For the boys? <laughs> it's cold! Oh, Susie, you're a menace! I know it's cold again. Alright, y'all, we have made it. Two cars and coffee. Susie is in good company, as you can see, but she looks rough, boy. Uh, we gonna get her. We gonna get her right. My boy over there with one of these Supras. I think it's this one because he said he had a wing. Um, recommended me to Dial or Doss Auto House, something like that, to get the rear bumper painted and uh, maybe get this repainted because that bumper needs some attention. And we're gonna be getting all new plastics from Toyota themselves, but. Yeah, he has a nice little lip. What lip is this? No idea. We're not getting this one. It looks good though. Um, but yeah, this is pretty much how Susie, the vision for Susie coming up in the near future. This is a, he did like a, like a fade paint. That's kind of cool. That's different. I've never seen that before. And it is now the third day in this video, I think. 
I don't know what that was, but anyways, I think it's the third day going on, the third day for this video, and we are going to be officially clay barring and fixing, trying to save some of this paint, and uh, I have ordered all new plastics. All of these plastics right here, they're definitely most likely savable, but I don't want to do that at this moment. I'll probably save these later, but I, I bought brand new OEM plastics all to go and replace the bumper and then we'll likely have to repaint it and we will be getting brand new emblems as well I'm gonna be going a little bit different route than OEM, but kind of the same So I had bought a clay bar kit from Walmart got home clay bars were not in there. I got robbed Somebody stole them. You know, it is what it is Motherfuckers is thieves out here, but so I had to go buy a new one So now I got all the quick detailer that I'll ever need in my life and uh, but that's okay we're gonna get ready. I'm trying to save this paint today. So we're gonna go ahead and throw some soapy water in this, spray it down, get the clay bar, start scrubbing away, and that's it. There ain't really much to clay bar and stuff besides keeping the surface wet and claying it until it's smooth. Hey, the G looking good though. I can't believe this car. Well, looking good as she's she's gonna look for now. Can't believe this car is actually 20 years old. Crazy. All right, so here's our clay. You just kind of want to shape it to where it's, you know, like more more surface can be covered. Spray it, and then just go at it. y'all the first go over is now officially complete the paint feels back to buttery and silky smooth you know what i'm saying look at that silky smooth you don't feel don't feel like sandpaper you know other than like kind of like down here just just a little bit but like it just my hand just glides right over it that clay bar stuff works so well before this, like if you were to touch the bumper, it just felt gritty like sandpaper and it was disgusting. It kind of brought some of the plastics back to life. Um, I didn't really wipe this one too well now, did I? The paint is is pretty much back to life other than like, you know, we got to touch up a few things. Also, I noticed um, I threw the front bumper on in about 10 minutes by myself and it's pretty damn good. Um, but I noticed that it's just slightly off. So I'm probably going to have Mrs. TYB give me a hand while I realign it, rebolt things back up. So she's mint. I also didn't know that I live next to Squidward. Okay, so I ended up readjusting the bumper myself. I just kind of halfway unloosened all the bolts and then kind of just, you know, moved it a little bit. But the gap that I was worrying about seems like it don't matter how I move it. It's just, there's supposed to be a gap there for some reason, like here and here like that seems really off and i know this gap right here is a lot worse than this gap right here because i am missing the bolt that goes here so it's kind of sagging down a little bit i either have to find it somewhere it's either at my uncle's house or it's gone so uh i don't have it don't know where it went or where it could be but either way if i have to buy a new one i'll buy a new one regardless because this gap nobody may notice it but now you watching this and me are always going to notice that gap and it's going to piss all of us off 